Ghana is currently under its 18th IMF program since independence. The country is waiting with bated breath for the approval of the board of the IMF in order to access the second tranche of $600 million under the program. Currently, the country is negotiating with its external creditors for debt restructuring. Speaking on reimagining Ghana's development trajectory for the next 33 years towards its 100th independence anniversary, economist Kwame Pienin bemoaned the inconsistency with the growth trajectory of the economy and predicted hard times in the first quarter of next year. Our banks are in trouble. They have to make up additional capital. Ghana Commercial Bank is looking for additional capital to make up the minimum capital adequacy ratios. By the first quarter of next year, we'll find out that the banks are laying off people. The banks will have less profit. Taxes will also go down. So the seriousness of the magnitude of the problems we face will come in the first quarter. And this is why it is important that all of us decide we need to change course. He also singled out the election of district chief executives as one of the policy initiatives that will ensure real development across the country. An elected district chief executive repackaged We'll make sure we have 265 centers of initiative for development. Not all of us sitting under the Jubilee House tree waiting for mana to fall. Only one center thinking for us. UPS awarded him for his contribution towards national development. The thoughts of an elderly statesman on the development trajectory for the next 33 years culminating in Ghana's centenary celebrations. Duke Benzo Poku. TV3 News, UPSA, Accra.